some way from its halfway point with Scott Boland to bowl from the members' end. With the wind at his back to a left-handed. Certainly, they've still got a nice total of 351 on the board. Off the edge, and that's going to be four off uh, for Ward. And that's clipped off the pads by Ward. It's going to run down to fine leg. To Ward, he's got the miss. He's hit outside edge from Ward, and he's gone. Uh, it's a missed opportunity for Tim Ward. Just about at drinks on the third morning. Silk drives on the bounce. Was that a, that bounced over the head of cover, and that will be four. He was in again. McDermott taking on, and that's over the rope and all the way from Ben McDermott. What a cracking shot. Perry again now, that's beautiful by Jordan Silk. Classic cover drive. Broken by lunch, of course. McDermott's bowled straight through the middle peg. McDermott lifted his head. Up 300, rather. Payne, straight off the mark with a beautiful shot. With Bolden running in. Payne, and he got that <laughs> off the bottom edge for four. Useful runs. And no, I didn't. Uh, Shorter ball, and Payne's got it away again. Off some glove. Payne clears uh, his leg stump, and that's a wonderful square drive behind point, if you like, for four. He bowled. Perry's got his wicket. Victoria get, a, get a, a, an addition to their bonus point tally, and Payne's gone after a, an interesting and entertaining uh, knock of 24. And Webster hits across the line, and he's out. Oh, dear. That's a win for Victoria. A real swing across the line by Bo Webster. Victoria's total of 351. Freeman gives himself some space and smacks that one straight. Three again. Silk. Bang! Oh, that's huge! <laughs> it might be stuck in the heel, too. Full toss. And that is cut away. I'm not sure that's where he intended it to go as it rolls away up the hill for four. McClure. Freeman steps across his stumps and then thwacks that new ball that is old across the fence. Six runs. This time he goes straight. Bang. It's powerfully hit. Straight back <laughs> over the bowler's head. We'll get Rick Finlay to double check my stats there. As he's given himself some more room, this one's long. And another six, I think. I'm not sure that that bounced. No, they're calling it a four. Tasmania now 10 in front. Full toss. Slapped for six. Man on the pantry inside of the hill there. Here comes Boland. Another one from Silk into the onside. That's in the air. And it will go in between the, uh, the long on and the deep mid-wicket for four more runs. Swings long and hard and wide into the onside. What a good blow. Over the head of the keeper. Freeman likes to hit hard and into the onside. And that will beat everyone. And hit the boundary right now. Boy, he, he can hit a hard ball. He hits a good ball. That was a wonderful that's, strike. That's a wonderful shot. That's a half century for Jared Freeman. Very well batted. Full toss. Hits it well, hits it over the rope, onto the hill for six. 94, not out. And he swats that ball in the air down to Perry, who takes the catch. So Freeman's out, and the, the subcontext of that is that Jordan Silk won't be able to uh, take strike because the rules these days. Squared up, and it's caught at gully. That's the end of Jackson Bird. Beautiful delivery from Perry. He gets another one. And it spells the end of Jackson Bird. He's gone for four. Into Jordan Silk on 99. And there it is. What a way to bring up 100 by hitting the ropes. A sensational innings from Jordan Silk. A captain's 100 off just 121 balls. Raises the icon blade and salutes the members and the fans. Siddle up and over the top. Through the covers for four. Wow. That was the middle of the bet, Tubes. It certainly was. Driving beautifully. Bang. Peter Siddle, number 10. Wow. Change of bowler, Fergus O'Neill. Down the wicket.
comes Jordan Silk, and that's a beautiful shot. Nick Madison's got a hot chase here. He's not going to get there. Four runs. And bang. Oh, Peter Siddle has smacked that directly over Fergus O'Neill's head. Oh, dear. And he's bowled. Well, that's that for Peter Siddle. You could see what he was trying to do. Session and a half to... Oh, Silk. Bang. Pull that in. That is just pure strength from the Tasmanian captain. The last game of the season before the final. In the air from Silk. It beats Chandra Singer four runs. What a lovely shot. Boone's down end to Jordan Silk on 134 not out. And he finds his way onto the hill. Another boundary for Jordan Silk, 140 now. Anil to Silk, looking for the boundary again, and he goes once more over the rope. Oh, this is hard work for the Victorians. We're coming out to bat for the second time. They must be getting a bit tired. He swings hard, Meredith. More runs. And every one of these runs that... Uh, running down the hill from the members' end. And Meredith swings and drives square for four. What a shot. What a terrific shot. Oh, Meredith into the onside now. What a shot through mid-wicket. Meredith swings and swings long and hard over the boundary for six. No. And there's more runs into the offside by Jordan Silk. We go with Perry. And he's bowled him. That's it. No, we need to worry about the Saunders and Faulkner partnership. And Perry has gone, uh, rather, Meredith has gone. Dean on strike. Straight on the button for Jackson Bird. And that's flicked away nicely. Beautiful shot from Marcus Harris. After being sent in. As Dean finds his way through the onside. That's uh, runs just behind square. Well played. That's qu quite remarkable, isn't it? That one's pushed away through the gully for four. In he comes. Marcus Harris on strike. Squirts this one through the slips cordon past gully for another four. Here comes Meredith. And Dean off the edge for four. Down to third man. Two, two slips and a short leg. And that's bowled him. That's got through. That's the one. It's that kept down. Effort. That is enormous. Harris bowled. Off the edge of Perry. He ducked. He, he didn't know much about it. And Perry plays late. And it catches the edge. And there's four runs. He defends that safely into the onside, and they get a, a bonus run. That'll mean Perry's on strike first thing in the morning. Victoria reach the safety of stumps at one for 44. They'll be happy with that.